Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jocelyn and for today's topic, I'm going to discuss the entry requirements for all dual citizens entering Philippines. Please take note that dual citizens are also Filipino citizens. However, there are strict immigration entry requirements. If you are a dual citizen, you must present your foreign passport and your valid Philippine passport. However, if you have lost your Philippine passport or it has already been expired, you must present your foreign passport and your dual citizenship documents. There are three pages to the dual citizenship documents, so you must bring all the three pages proving that you are also a dual citizen. All dual citizens have two options. First, you must present your foreign passport plus your valid Philippine passport or your foreign passport plus three pages of your dual citizenship documents. You must present all of them, not just the identification certificate. All passengers to the Philippines must register through the One Health Pass within three days of arrival. There are now new exemptions for travel insurance and return ticket requirements starting April 1st. Foreign spouse and our children of Filipino citizens are now exempt. Please also be aware of the new immigration advisory when you are entering the Philippines without using a Philippine passport. What can you present when your passport has expired or you've lost your Philippine passport? If your passport has been lost, damaged, or expired, you have an option. Filipinos without Philippine passport can travel to Philippines by obtaining a travel document from Philippine consulate abroad for emergency use. However, a travel document is allowed only for applicants who cannot be issued a Philippine passport and have an emergency travel to the Philippines such as due to medical or legal reasons or death in the family. This travel document is only for one-time use and you can only use it for 30 days. But once you arrive in the Philippines, you can actually apply for a new Philippine passport. For all Filipino citizens and dual citizens, travel insurance is not required. In addition, your passport do not need to be valid for six months at the time of arrival. Also, you don't need a return ticket for 30 days. For all dual citizens, please take note of this important requirement if you have a dual passport when entering. All passengers who use these travel documents upon arrival and were admitted under the same status shall be required to present the same during departure. Accordingly, if you use a travel document, you will also be required to present the above documents during departure. Non-presentation of the required documents shall be a ground for the deferral of your departure. So please take note of this important advisory. In essence, if you arrived in the Philippines using these travel documents, you must also use the same documents to exit the Philippines. Dual citizens do not need a travel insurance. In addition, you don't need to comply with the return ticket requirement or your passport do not need to be valid for at least six months. So I'm referring to the Philippine passport. However, if you have a foreign passport, your foreign passport must be at least six months and beyond. Another advantage of being a dual citizen is that you have two options. Here are the latest travel requirements for Filipinos and dual citizens. There are two options. The first option, Vaccinated Filipinos, One Health Pass, Registration, Proof of Vaccination, Negative RT-PCR test taken within 48 hours or negative antigen test within 24 hours and you only need to self-monitor for 7 days. The second option, 
For vaccinated Filipinos, you must register through the One Health Pass. Proof of vaccination must be provided. And for fully recovered travelers with positive RT-PCR or positive antigen, you must have this positive test between 10 to 30 days and also within 48 hours or 24 hours. And you must provide a medical certificate from a licensed physician stating that the traveler has completed the mandatory isolation and you only need to self-monitor for seven days. If you are a dual citizen but you are traveling with your foreign spouse, here are the requirements. Here are the changes for vaccinated foreign spouse of Filipino traveling alone or together. Effective April 1st, you must have a One Health Pass, proof of vaccination, negative RT-PCR test or negative antigen test, passport valid for at least six months at the time of arrival, authentic marriage certificate, and you only need to self-monitor for seven days from arrival. If you are a dual citizen and you have unvaccinated or vaccinated minor children. Here are the requirements for vaccinated foreign child or Filipino child or Filipino parent. Children three years old and below who are asymptomatic, not required to present a pre-departure negative test. Children below 12 years of age, unvaccinated, will follow quarantine protocols of the parents. Children 12 to 17, will follow the classification and procedures based on their vaccination status and the parent must accompany the minor during their quarantine. Also must register through the One Health Pass within three days of arrival. In addition, must present negative RT-PCR test or antigen test for those four years and above. For foreign child, the passport, foreign passport must be valid for at least six months at the time of arrival. Also, if vaccinated, self-monitor for any sign or symptom until the seventh day. Also, if you are a fully vaccinated dual citizen, you don't need to undergo facility-based quarantine. However, there is a quarantine for unvaccinated Filipinos. So if you are a dual citizen and you are unvaccinated, you must undergo facility-based quarantine. For Filipino citizens who are unable to comply with the conditions or requirements, you will be considered as unvaccinated and you will be subject to the entry testing and quarantine protocols for unvaccinated. In addition, you must also Undergo facility-based quarantine until the release of your negative RT-PCR test on the fifth day. And you will also be required to home quarantine until the 14th day of your arrival. The local government unit will be tasked to monitor those arriving passengers undergoing home quarantine. Here is the latest quarantine requirements for those fully recovered Filipino nationals with positive RT-PCR test results. For those who are vaccinated, there is actually no facility-based quarantine. All you have to do is self-monitor for any sign or symptom for seven days with the first day being the date of arrival and shall be required to report to the local government unit of destination upon the manifestation of symptoms, if any. For unvaccinated, you will be required to Quarantine in a facility-based hotel until the release of a negative RT-PCR test taken on the fifth day and you will be required to undergo home quarantine until the 14th day with the date of arrival being the first. If you are a dual citizen, can you stay permanently in the Philippines? The answer is yes. You are also a Filipino. Filipino citizens can stay indefinitely in the Philippines. If you recently traveled in the Philippines, please share your travel experience. I would really appreciate it. If you have any other questions or comments, please post them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys for supporting my channel and if you haven't liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I always welcome new subscribers. Thank you guys for watching. I hope everyone is staying safe and have a great day.